thing right so rather than swinging the, the fingerboards are indexed off the cnc for leveling inlays and whatnot too this is a great dreadnought top it's not quite as stiff as i would like make a finish on it would be this uh, deeper red or uh, is stacy in, in a little deeper sounds totally different totally different Very loud, very complex guitar. Cut all the little mortises to fit the braces in. This is a uh, GUM thin body. So it's like a, a, a OM Grand or 404 Martin. The truss rod is, it's an interesting setup carbon fiber rods, uh, steel bars as well. Um, hopefully you did the voicing for about five years. It lays the foundation for the rod. So then after they go in, Nicaraguan, sometimes Guatemalan, sometimes Panamanian. Same brace goes on dread, same brace on every guitar. The thickness is the sound board. He's flexing like this the whole time. Once they're glued on, there's some some stuff you know you have to remove. He's scooping the sides. So you can, because of the way that they're quarter sawn, you can remove a lot of mass from the sides, take out a lot of weight, and keep the strength. Don't lose strength out. That'll get in there, look. Tone bars were like that. But he'll tap. Flex. He's flexing a lot around this area right here. Very important area. And you can do a lot of change of the character of the guitar just with these. Just, you know, he's, he'll strip off these. And then, you know, you know, you know, you know. I, I don't even keep braces. 